I'm Star and welcome to my channel, Starlight Starlight 70. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. And if you are new, welcome. Come on in. So, first off, I want to say Happy Thursday. Uh, it is a beautiful, beautiful day. I got the windows open this morning. Um, not very many birds, though. The birds, I don't know where they went. Maybe, maybe they're flying more south. <laughs> Not sure what the birds were this morning, but it is just a beautiful day. Temperatures in the low 60s. Um, it's going to be another warm one, though. It's going to be up in the 90s today. Uh, but yeah, not a cloud in the sky, guys. Not one cloud in the sky. It is blue, blue out there. Uh, now, I know many of you on the East Coast, not blue, blue skies. Um, there is a hurricane heading your way and um, I just pray for God's comfort, His love, His protection over each and every one of you that are in that path of that storm. Because not only is it going to hit um, uh, Florida, it is going to go right up to through Georgia, I think, North Carolina, it's maybe, it's maybe South first probably, South Carolina, North Carolina, anyway, it's going to hit up all in there. So yeah, it looks uh, pretty nasty, and they said it's a, uh, even though it's not going to be hurricane strength, there are some states that are going to still get the tropical, which is still pretty, pretty wicked. Um, I don't know how many of you have been through a tropical storm, but um, I have. <laughs> and it's no fun. No, no, no. Uh, we get the winds out here in the desert, but yeah, we don't get the, the winds, the rains, and everything else that comes with it. Anyways, guys, we are doing our Mornings with Jesus uh, right here. It's our devotional book, and um, I've really been enjoying it, and I hope you have too. Uh, today for Thursday, September 26th, is the Lord Jesus Christ, our hope. 1 Timothy 1.1 1, 1. My mom inherited her family's propensity for heart trouble. She survived almost all common and several experimental medical and surgical interventions over the course of her long battle with congestive heart failure. As if she hadn't endured enough during a rather routine procedure, she lost her sense of taste and smell. I couldn't imagine having those two senses blanked out until it happened to me. I emerged from a bout of COVID with my lungs intact but I lost the ability to taste and smell. And I have heard a lot of people um, lost that ability and it took forever to come back. I waited weeks, months for them to kick back in. Yeah, same with this guy. Bacon and coffee now smelt like industrial waste. Most foods tasted like cardboard. I racked my brain to remember the fragrance of my favorite cologne. I smelled smoke when it wasn't there, but not when it was which resulted in multiple slices of burnt toast. Both senses eventually returned, but the experience made me wonder, what if I lost my ability to feel hopeful? My thoughts about hope can be distorted by my circumstances. What would I do if I ever lost hope? Thankfully, Jesus is my hope. Even if I lose the ability to be hopeful, there is nothing I can ever do to lose him. He is steadfast and true. His presence isn't determined by how I feel. Jesus is always with me in both sickness and health. And knowing this means I can never lose hope. Uh, the faith step today says, Spray your favorite fragrance on your wrist and thank Jesus for being your hope each time you catch a whiff as you go through the day. Light a candle even. If, because I know um, a lot of people are sensitive. I know I'm sensitive to certain fragrances and stuff like that. It's all my body. But you can, you know, light some incense or light a candle and just, yeah, remember. Just be thankful. Thankful for Jesus for giving you that hope every day. And as Miss Linda always says, you just hang in there. Just hang in there. Um, she says that almost every time she finishes her video and it is just so true Jesus is my hope and you just hang in there through sickness and in health 
just hang in there. If you're going through mental um, issues, right? Just hang in there. Jesus is your hope. Don't give up. Never, ever give up. Um, awesome message today. Awesome, awesome. Alright, as many as of you know, obviously, because if, if you watched my intro, <laughs> there's a collab coming up, and it's coming up on Saturday. And so I want to shout out two lovely ladies today. The first one I'm going to shout out is... Um, let me just get to her YouTube. Okay, so the first one is Trendy Finds uh, with Marie. And she loves Timu. And yes, I love Timu. Um, she has, let's see, she has 137 videos. And does she have anything in her bio? She just says channel purpose, DIYs, painting, unboxings, reviews, and hauls. So she is just the sweetest lady ever. And um, here is her channel right there. But yeah. So she is going to be part of our collab. Uh, she did Timu Cool and Useful Things two hours ago. Um, She's got a Timu Holland, and I watched that one. New Timu Hall, what's in a bag? Beautiful fall pickings. Uh, then she did some shop with me at oh, at five below. Uh, shop with me at home goods. Um, oh, she did an awesome. That's right. She did an awesome mystery swap with menopause uh, and madness. Um, I, I mentioned her. I, actually, I mentioned her quite a bit on my channel because uh, she's a lovely lady menopause and madness um, but anyway she did a mystery stop with her and so yeah she's um, she also did a mystery stop with Tall Bear Howls so he's another one that I really enjoy watching um, spending my time with uh, but anyway so yeah she does lots and lots of team moves Timu, Dolichi, Sheen, it looks like. Um, so she's got lots of videos to watch. And I'm just so looking forward to um, seeing what she gets. Uh, so if you haven't gone over, please go and subscribe to her. Uh, and that is Trendy Finds with, well, Trendy Finds is her, is her channel. And I believe Marie is her name. Alright, so that is the first one. The second one is Glam. See if I can get her to come. Glam. Glam 7, I think, with Karen. See if she comes up. Okay. Everything Glam comes up. I know I went and subscribed to her. Now she's brand new to me, I hadn't even heard of her before. So I did watch a couple of her videos. Yeah, Glam Glam 7 with Karen. And that's what I put in there. Okay, let me try once more, guys. Maybe because I had to put it together. I did notice, um, I was watching, um, Positively Kimmy, and I noticed that I was unsubscribed to her this morning. So please check your subscriptions because it's happening again. Um, where for whatever reason YouTube unsubscribes you and yeah okay glam glam seven where are you there's a lot of glam sevens okay guys I don't know where her channel is and I know I went and subscribed to her oh I know what I can do I know what I can do I have her on one of my videos I have her in my description Oh, that was um, the other one I was watching. Let's view my channel and turn the volume down. We're going to go through the back door. <laughs> oh, because I know this works. Okay. So if I go in my description, I go down and I see all the names. And there's, oh, Glamour. 
So hers is Glamma, so Glam Girl 7, but Glamma slash Karen. That is what her channel's name is. And we're going to go to her channel here, and I'm going to show it to you. Let's see, does she have anything? She's got nothing for her description, but this is her right here. Sorry, I know I got a nice glare happening because the windows are open today. But anyway, there's her channel there. And she did her first Sheen haul. She did Dollar Tree. She does Timu. And um, I don't know if she does Get Ready With Me on Mondays. Oh, yeah, she does. She does Mask Mondays. I know there's a lot of ladies out there that do that Mask Monday. Um, but, yeah, she she's a sweetheart, too. I did watch a couple of her videos. And uh, awesome. She's just awesome. So, Glam Girl 7, uh, she right now has 1.28k subscribers and 126 videos. Ooh, and I think I forgot to mention how much um, uh, Marie had. So, my apologies. But yes, so both those ladies will be in the collab. Go show them some love. Go do what our RV family does best. Go over there, go subscribe. Uh, give them a like, leave them a comment on one of their videos. They would, I'm sure, so, so appreciate it. And I am just so excited for this cloud coming up. Um, but with that being said, that's on Saturday. Oh, I should say Saturday, September 28th. And it will be airing at 6 p.m. my time, which is mountain time. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to be doing a live over at... Um, um, sorry, I'm going to be doing a live on my channel with uh, Lynn Marie over at uh, Creative Chaos with Lynn Marie and with Miss Linda, Bella and Linda, her life and mine. So that is going to happen at 11 a.m. my mountain time. We still have our ear event going on. Uh, I know some of you are finishing up your ears. You're way better than I am. I did some keychains this month. <laughs> And my poor ear. I, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. You know what, guys? I'm going to take the day and I'm going to work on the ER. You know what? I say that every day. <laughs> oh my goodness! So I've been really, really busy setting up my store. This month has just been a really busy month. We were gonna go with Etsy, and we tried them out, and there was so many fees and so much of this and so much of that. And my husband was trying to explain it out to me and I was like, zoom, zoom, zoom. You know, you ever get that? It's like, yeah, or one ear out the other. <laughs> yeah. And my husband loves to explain. He is, he loves to research and he loves to explain. And there's a lot of times scenes go, choo, choo. <laughs> but I love him dearly. Um, but anyway, so uh, then I don't know. I was watching someone and they had the thing saying, buy me a coffee. So I said to my husband, what is that? What is the buy me a coffee? So it's just another way to donate. So with YouTube, they take a percentage off of everything like Super Chats and um, I don't know if there's other ways to donate, but they take approximately 30% off of whatever you donate. They take 30% off. That's their cut. And so you're left with whatever is left, right? So buy me a coffee is just another way that you can donate and help support a channel. Well, then I saw there was a shop in it. So I'm like, oh, oh yeah. So yeah, once you get monetized, you can set up super chats and everything, I think. So that's what happened when we got monetized. Um, we were looking just at different things. And that's where this buy me a coffee thing came up. Anyway, so yes, they had a shop. And so I was like, hey, this would be perfect for my AI images. Uh, so I started putting up my images on there. And then I noticed, oh, I could list physical items. So I listed some custom diamond paintings. And then I listed some de-stashing diamond paintings and I'm trying to, trying to sell. And I'm just selling them for what I paid for them. Uh, then I have a couple tumblers on there. Eeyore. 
Eeyore. Um, would be make, make really nice Christmas gifts or something. And I, again, just selling what I got them for. And I got them for a really good deal. Um, what else? Oh, I got some e Halloween earrings on there. So what I wanted was, so it's a place where you can donate. So I think it starts at something like $2 or $2.50, $3.50, I can't remember, two, three, five, something, blah, 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 blah. So I, I have my images set at $3.50 because I just don't want you guys to donate and not have anything. So, so it's so important to me for me anyway that if you decide to donate which um, I mean that's totally up to you uh, but if you do decide to donate um, I want to give back I want to have be able to give you something in return so this is kind of like a give give a give give is that how you say it <laughs> anyway I just yeah I wanted to be able to give back so like the earrings for example um, they're just set at a certain amount. It's free shipping. Of course, the images, there's no shipping and costs, right? Paintings, unfortunately, I get, they cost almost $10 to ship. By the time I get the envelope and the shipping cost, one painting. So we sent out one painting uh, the, yesterday or the day before. One painting was almost $9 to ship one painting. Isn't that crazy? Just crazy. And then the envelope was $1.25. So yeah, so it's even, it was even more than uh, $10 to ship, but we're just charging $10 uh, for shipping. And then um, for my customs, I am charging the $350 for the image and then for what I paid for the painting. So I'm not, pay I'm not charging anything um, higher than what I paid for because uh, I don't. Um, I'm not doing it to make money. Oh yeah, it's nice to make some extra money, right? But I got Timu, of course. I got um, the influencer program there. I'm now monetized on YouTube, so I'll be getting a wee bit, probably like ten dollars. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'll let you know. I'll let you know what my first uh, check on YouTube was. Uh, but I'll be getting um, that because I am monetized now, thanks to all of you. Ooh, talking about that. So my husband. Um, is doing up his little thingamajig so he was testing out different wheels yesterday and so he found a wheel that he really likes so he is going to be doing the spin the wheel on our um on our one one k um gift cards or blessing i'm gonna say blessings there'll be two winners and each winner will get a 50 dollar gift card um of your choice yeah, um, as long as we can send it to you, it's of your choice. Uh, so yeah, um, only he says there's only 300 and some people s currently l subscribed, and I'm like, no, honey, there's we we have to have more. There's one K, but he said, well, no, that's the only ones that he can see. So if you want to get in on that draw, you need to open up your privacy settings and set it to so we can see that you're subscribed so we can enter you in the draw. Otherwise, you can't because we can't see that you're subscribed. So um, that is coming up at in the beginning of October um, along with uh, we're going to be doing a drawing along with the ones that entered our Eeyore event. So there'll be two drawings, um, one for the Eeyore event and then one for the 1K. So that's coming up, at, yeah, that will be at the beginning of October, so the first week of October. We'll just say that. Um, we have a Chick or Cheat event coming up in October, so looking forward to that. And I think it's on the 21st. I'm not sure what date my husband, I'll have to check. Um, my husband and I were throwing around dates, so I'll have to see which one he went with. Oh, then there's Lynn Marie's event coming up. She is um, doing a Hocus Pocus. So uh, there's that. And then, of course, you got Diamond Grandma. You got um, T uh, Diamond Grandma is doing Fall Y'all um, for October. And then Diamonds by Tita. I'm not sure what her event is yet. Usually Cat does one. DP Creep. Oh, my DP Creepy Cuties. Uh, DP witch cat she does one um, then there's uh, paint with friends 
uh, they do one as well so I'm not sure what theirs is coming up I've been so busy this month I haven't kept up but anyway so there's a bunch of different events going on for October so you'll have plenty to keep you busy plenty plenty all right guys so everything so I should go back to my store so I, my store will be linked in my description it is right at the very top so you can't miss it um, I have a bunch of images I added a bunch of new ones last night some really really pretty ones I was really really impressed how they came out um, but yeah I think that's it I think that's it for the updates 20 minutes later we're done with our updates can't think of anything more um, if I forgot something my apologies but anyways guys we're just gonna do some mix mash mix mash stuff today it's gonna it's just one of those days so my husband and Chris love shopping at the Dollar Tree well I love shopping at the Dollar Tree too when I get out I don't get out very much um, but anyway so he brought these home so he said I you can't believe what I found at the Dollar Tree so we got Winnie the Pooh yes Winnie the Pooh coloring book so awesome images in here I mean awesome awesome so um, I, I enjoy coloring when I have the time or take the time I should say I have the time I just need to take the time well lately I haven't had the time but um, but yeah, I don't know how, what else to say. <laughs> to say, but anyway, really, really cute images and stuff. Um, so it's mostly, it looks like Tigger. Tigger has definitely, um, taken the show in this one. Uh, yeah, Tigger is almost in every one. Ooh, there's a, um, what do you call that? A maze? So... My granddaddy would absolutely love this book. Uh, oh, there is Eeyore. So Eeyore is at the very back of the book. Poor Eeyore gets left behind, left almost left out. But there he is. <laughs> I love that one. Even Eeyore can be silly. And then he was trying to fix his house. So there's like little sayings on here and stuff. I just think it's really, really cute. But yeah, love it. So there's that. Then he has, uh, he found these cards. So there is uh, the flash cards. Uh, there's 36 cards, different. These ones are first words. So this is a good way to learn English. <laughs> but this is what they look like. So, and, they, and I just love the images. So. I mean, look at those cute little images. So if you scrapbook or something, um, these little images would be awesome, especially if you love Winnie the Pooh. Yeah, really, really nice. If you have grandkids or if you have little ones, these are awesome cards to teach them how to say their first words. Uh, it says here the object of the game. Um, so it does give you a little direction Thing on it and like I said these just came from uh, the Dollar Tree uh, and then it says Tigger so yeah it's uh it's pretty pretty look at oh poo pot ball <laughs> but anyway so he got he got picked up those and yeah, if you have kids, if you got grandkids and they're of that age, these are some really, really cute cards. And they're nice and big. Really, really nice and big. But I also think they'd be good for scrapbooking as well. For taking little images out and doing different things with them. So, anyway, so he got me that. And then they came in four different things, he says. There was, these are colors and shapes. And then this are just a poo, poo's go together game. So there's that one. And then there's a number mat. Tigger. 
So anyway, so there's all those. Uh, there's 36 cards in each one, and then a coloring book. It's just awesome. All right. Then where's this? I got this in Timu a while back. I'll, I'll have to see if I can find a price for it. Um, but I've had it sitting over in my little corner over there for quite a while. And this is going to be um, part of the um, part of for the Eeyore event. And hopefully it ships well. But I just thought this is just so adorable. Um, unfortunately, it does not come with a straw, but look at this, guys. So it's just a beautiful um, glass. It is glass. It has a wood uh, stop or a wood lid. And then there is a hole for a straw right there. But yeah, it did not come with a straw. But isn't that just the cutest thing ever? So you got baby poo. You got baby tigger. And where's my ear? Oh, there's piglet. Oh, and there's Eeyore. Ah, oh, just so, so cute. So it's about as long as my face. <laughs> Not sure what the measurements or anything are on this or how much. It's called a water cup. So, yeah. If I can find it, guys, I have it linked. But, um, but anyway, this will be going in um, for the Eeyore event. Oh wait guys, there is a straw. So it comes ship it comes with this here and there's a little slit here, so it does come with a straw. Ooh, it's a nice straw too. It's it's not like it's a very strong plastic one. And then it's got a little bend on it, which is really nice. I didn't even see that. It's almost this almost feels it's not glass, but it's very very strong um, plastic, I guess. Almost feels like glass. Maybe it is. Because it is did come in its own little compartment here. Right here. <laughs> so yeah, could be glass. I can't get it back in there the way they had it. Of course not. Don't want to break it. No, I think it's just very strong plastic for the straw. That's what it feels like. So anyway, I'll put that back in here. Okay, guys, I cannot get this back in here the way they had it. I don't know how they had it, but okay. It's just going to go in like that. And then it did have a little little lid on it. And I'm just going to throw it back in this beat-up box. Because we know how Timu loves to send their packages, right? <laughs> this box has had better days. <laughs> oh, my goodness, my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, get it back in there. There we go. So I don't know how many of you watch Materia Mom, but uh, she's a hoot. She, um, I love watching her. Um, anyway, she is off on her cruise. She was showing uh, her and her husband driving this morning. And I uh, didn't watch all her video, but... Uh, she says, yeah, we're off to our cruise, so, um, Angela, have a blast, have a blast. I think they're going to Fuji and different uh, places like that, so, anyway, I have a nice little box here, and we're just going to go through some of the items. Probably won't get through all of them today, but, then we got these, and I was, I got actually a refund on these ones, because, um, I don't have a price on it. But I did get a refund, and they're just dish towels. But, and I just thought they were so cute for out here in the desert. So you got Eeyore with his little hat on. But if you look up close, which one was it? This one maybe, yeah. So if you look up close here, I'm gonna try to bring it close to the camera. Eeyore is coming apart. See that? I don't know if you can see the fray, the phrase on it, but yeah. This one isn't as bad, but you can see, actually see a line, and that's where they folded it. 
And then on here, you can actually see where his hat, see there? Is already, the color is already coming off uh, of it. So this is not something that you would could use. I think it's just for show. So it's just something you would hang up. Um, it's very, very soft. Very, very soft material. Whatever they use, it's uh, awesome. But anyway, there's two of them that came in here. It's the same one. Uh, maybe this one is the worst one. I know there was like a line right through him, but I folded him up differently. And actually, I think that line looks like it might have come out. Uh, this one looks good. So, yeah. I think they were like uh, $4 and some cents uh, when I purchased them. And that was uh, a while ago. So, anyway, so I folded it that he wasn't going to be squashed in a package. So really really cute and you can just hang them up I uh, use them for decoration or whatever like I said I wouldn't be washing this uh, if at all possible just because of uh, I'm not sure how well that's gonna wander unless you have like one of those um, bags to protect it that doesn't rub against other clothing um, I call them my little bra bags because <laughs> that's what I put in them but um, they're like a mesh and they have a zipper and so yeah so anyway, so there, those are, are the Eeyore um, towels. They're really, really cute. So there, so I got that. And let us look at, I got a bunch of down here. One, two, oh, I got some off canvas. Let's look at this. So I got this here. Um, Again, it doesn't say it's for my um, iPhone, and it's just a really, really cute case. And it says, "Enjoy your happy life." So I'll be changing my um, case out. So right now I have um, this one on it. So, and these are just plastic, guys. Just. Uh, but they're enough to protect. Well, I shouldn't say that because I, I cracked my iPhone. <laughs> Dropped on the floor and it did uh, put a little crack on the side of it. I, even using one of these cases. So you do have to be careful. Um, so I'm just taking this one off. And then I'm going to put my new one on. So yeah, you still have to be careful with, with that. Because they do come up over the edge, but just a little bit. And I mean, I did a hairline. I mean, it's just a little hairline. Um, it must have landed on something that was, and it's just got a little hairline in there. And I could take it in to get fixed, I presume, but it doesn't bother me. Anyway, there we are. Isn't that cute? I love it. I just love it. So there's that. And then I got another one as well. And this one is, oh, I, this one it says $4.39 and I got three price adjustments on it. Uh, this one here. And it is well for my iPhone. And here it is. Isn't that just the cutest? Eeyore. Yeah, this is just so, so cute. And it's just black inside. And this one is feels a little bit stronger than the other one there so, so anyway so I got two new phone cases for my uh, iPhone so I can switch them out and of course with my little Eeyore buddy okay so there is that then I got let's see what this is I'm not sure what this is let's see it doesn't have a price on it, so I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, I know what this is. So this here is a very soft, very, very soft. I mean, this is super soft. Pillow cover case. And it just says, good morning. If I bring it back here a little bit. But it does say, good morning. 
um, really, I mean, this is just almost like a baby. Oh, it's just so, so soft. Anyway, um, this one here will be going in the uh, blessing box for the Eeyore event. So I'm going to fold it up here nicely. It has a zipper. Now, let's look at the zipper real quick. Where is the zipper? Oh, yeah. So the zipper is down here. And it, yeah, it opens up really, really nice. And then you can, of course, put your pillow in and then close it up. So it is on the bottom of this, and which is nice, but yeah, really, really cute. I'm uh, very happy with the print and everything that came out on this, the imaging, and it's on both sides, so oh, I don't think you want my hair in there. <laughs> Guess what? You get an extra little present. <laughs> Oh, all right. So let's put this back in the bag because I don't want kitty hair or anything else to get. I do have cats, so just be aware that in case you're allergic, I do have kitty cats. Um, but this has been in this bag this whole time, except for the now that I showed you. But uh, but yeah, it's been in a bag. So there's that one. Let's see what time is it. Do you have time for one more item? Let's see. I got two off canvas things. I got a couple more done. Oh, here we go. So then there's this little baggie. This little bag here. It's got a little Eeyore on it. Isn't that cute? And then it has an Eeyore in the back. And then it opens up. So it does have a zipper. So just like a little makeup bag or whatever you want to put into it. And pretty nice size bag there so there's that one that will be going and then I got um, these really really cute what do you call them I think it's for your vehicle I think uh, little cup holders or cup things you put you know inside of your um, vehicle but I just thought this was just so cute Isn't that adorable and then here is the other one so there's two of them because I'm thinking that's for your vehicle because it has that and it has that. So anyway, there is a, f I think there is a film that you have to, I'm not sure, maybe not. I'm sure there is a film on here that you'll have to peel off. But anyway, so those are going in there. So that will be for the event. And then, um, sorry guys, these ones are mine. So these are earrings. Ooh. Now these ones are heavy. These are actually quite heavy earrings. But look at them. I oh, know. Come on, focus. Anyway, isn't that just the cutest? So he's got a little. Um, looks like he could have like a, a little hood on it on his head but it's beautiful they're blue they're um like i said they are heavier earring and if i can find them i'll have them linked um a lot of these things i got quite a while ago that i've kind of just been saving up for to show you for the eeyore event but yeah really really cute earrings and they didn't come with no Nothing to uh, hold the back in or anything, but yeah, I love them. Love them, love them. Actually, let's try one. I have, I still have my sleeper earrings in. Yeah. So they are, they are quite heavy. Yeah. And I think they would need something on the back because I think they could, at least for me, I think they could almost slip out of my ear. So um, I'll have to take some backings off of another earring. But let's just put these on. Oh my goodness. They're just too cute. Too, too cute. I'm just gonna pin, just try to close it just a little bit. There we go. Aww. I love them. I love them. 
and they are heavier so you can actually feel that you're wearing earrings I don't want to lose my little um, sleeper earrings here because they're just tiny every at night I always put them in um, my ears okay all right it is what almost 40 minutes um, yeah I think we will save you know what guys we will save all these little diamond paintings for tomorrow uh, because yeah time just flew time always flies with you guys oh my goodness oh and I was hoping to get through all of this with you guys today but oh you know what we're gonna do one diamond painting because I want to see this one it's only a little 30 by 30 um, I think it needed to be bigger, but it's a little 30 by 30, and we're doing this the lazy way today. I'm not moving it. Oh, oh my. So it comes with your basic kit. So for many of you that diamond paint, no, this is all you need. Um, but anyway, you get a pen, you get a, a tray, a nice green tray, and you get a little piece of wax. And yes, this is all you need. But anyways, look at this, guys. No baggies. <laughs> Look at them. And you can't have even see the colors. Oh, okay, it opens up. Oh my goodness. I've... There they are. There's the colors right there. Oh my goodness. And you know what? Where's the blue? Come on. Oh, number four says blue. So there's got to be blue in here somewhere. And, yeah. Weird. 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 So it is a 30 by 30. I mean, it does show some blues, but it looks more grays to me. Lots of grays in here. I'm not sure. Oh, the blues are behind. Okay, there are some blues in there. Anyway, this is the picture. Now, this is, this is a... Um, this is a thick, thick, thick canvas. Um, my goodness, it is thick. All right, let's throw that over there for now. And it needs help. Oh my goodness, is this? Don't tell me this is poured. <gasps> you know what, guys? double-sided this is double-sided adhesive and I just wrecked my painting I think Looks like it. yeah okay so watch your paintings guys I'm gonna show you what I just did to mine I'm gonna take this whole covering off and I'm gonna show you what happens when you don't pay attention I mean I never thought of a 30 by 30 being double-sided ever but I'm gonna show you what I just did now I can take I'm gonna take this tape off and I'm gonna put poured glue on it but look at that you see what I just did I just want to show you this is a lesson for today can you see can you see what I did yeah look at that see that yeah I just did that see that yeah Look at that. So, make sure you're checking your paintings before you roll them. Like I said, never in my dreams did I think I would get a little 30 by 30 with, with um, double-sided adhesive on it. Anyway, this guy's not impressed. Uh, 23 colors. It is 1 through 8, or sorry, 1 through 9, A down to P. Now, for those of you that say, well, that can't be because it's got this, see, flimsy little covering on it. Now, look at my painting and you can actually see, look at that. You can see where the tape is. That's double sided. And you can see how I ruined it. But anyways, guys, it is a cute image. It is of Eeyore in a bed. 
or Eeyore as a bed and I want this bed. I told my husband, can you get me this bed? So yeah, absolutely cute. But yeah, I wrecked it. Totally wrecked it. But like I said, I'm going to peel that off and yeah, not smart. I have to make sure that I get the right side because knowing me, I'll put the wrong side on there. Yep. And there's two sides to your um, film. So make sure you have the right side when you put it, if you take it off and put it back on. Um, I just can't believe I did that to this painting. Again, like I said, I never dreamed that it would be um, double-sided. Watch your paintings. Watch your paintings, because, yes, you can get double-sided in these little guys right here. Little 30 by 30s. I'm going to go back, and I'm going to go see what company this is from. We'll see. Um to let you guys know which company has a double-sided adhesive. Just so you're, just so that you're aware, because yeah, poor Eeyore, poor Eeyore bed. But anyway, it is just a really, really cute, cute uh, Eeyore, um, Eeyore painting. Uh, I, like I said, I want this bed. I really want this bed. <laughs> Alright guys, that's all I'm going to show you today. I was so excited to see this one. Then I wrecked it. But anyway, I'm going to, uh, yeah. Tita did a really good um, presentation on how to take this off and put poured glue. So, this painting definitely is going to get poured glue on it. Because uh, I absolutely love the image. And it will be hung up in my bedroom. Definitely. All right, guys. Um, thank you so much for joining me. We're not perfect here. <laughs> Far from it. Uh, but anyways, yes, thank you. Thank you for joining me. Please keep safe out there. Be safe. From my home to yours, I hope you have a fabulous day. Uh, be kind to one another. Love one another. And as I always say, God's richest blessings. And I will see you on the next one. Mwah. Love ya.